It is Memorial Day, and we are taking the time to honor U.S. military personnel who have died serving in the armed forces. One family is making it their life mission to remember veterans and their sacrifices. So in today's American Hero, it is fitting to have Moral Worcester, the founder of Wreaths Across America, and Rob, his son, there, talking about this new park that they have started and uh, are bringing to reality. They have a goal to place wreaths on all tombstones in American center, uh, cemeteries uh, in the United States, those cemeteries for veterans. But there is also this plan to unveil what you're seeing on your screen, the first phase of the Flagpole of Freedom Park in Columbia Falls, Maine on July 4th, 2026. So we're getting this first look. Uh, that date happens to be our nation's 250th birthday. You keep seeing this flagpole. That flagpole is supposed to be taller than the Empire State Building in elevation. I want to welcome our guests right now so that we have time to talk to you guys about all this. This is quite remarkable. Uh, neither of you are veterans yourselves. Moral, I'm going to start with you. Why is this so important to your family? First, thanks for having us on here. Yes. Uh, you know, um, I... have um, I've been involved in Reads Across America for a long, long time. I'm the founder. Uh, and, you know, I've been involved in veteran causes for uh, actually 30 years now. So, you know, this is just an extension of that. It is a beautiful extension. Uh, Rob, this massive flagpole, I mean, it's, it's over 1,700 feet high when you take into consideration the elevation. Is that right? Yes, it is. It, uh, it actually matches the important date in our history. Um, purposely, we made it 1,776 feet above sea level. Um, the pole itself is just a little bit taller than the Empire State Building, to give you an idea. And it will fly the largest American flag ever to be flown. A um, couple more real exciting things about it. it uh, it will be the first flag, actually the last flag that our deployed veterans will see. We're in the flight path on the way to Europe. Wow. as well as uh, the first one that welcomes them back into our country uh, when they return. And uh, the flag is tall enough. We're in the eastern part of, of uh, Maine called Washington County. Um, that's actually the Sunrise County. So this flag, um, you know, it, the national symbol that it is, will get the sunlight first every day as well. So we're very excited about all those different things about it yeah and i've got i've got i've got our, our crew here and and we're all kind of amazed at just thinking about how beautiful this will look we don't have a ton of time but i want to make sure that you all because you have such a heartbeat for honoring those who've served there are a lot of families who just get together and barbecue today what would you say is a good way until your park is built to honor our veterans and honor what memorial day really means well, I, I, I tell you, we, we think about it every single day. You know, Memorial Day is, is just one day for most people, but it's 365 days for us. Uh, we never stop uh, uh, between Reads Across America and, and working on the park. It's, uh, it's just something that we love to do, and uh, this is just what we do. It's just what we do. Rob, we have 30 seconds left. I know this is going to be a destination. You'll have restaurants and hotels around there. Anything uh, that we should look forward to next before the park opens in, what is it, 2026? You know, there's lots of different things we're doing. I think it's important is that there's so many more parts to this than just the flagpole. If you get a chance, please go to our website, flagpoleoffreedom.com. There's, um, there's a memorial side that honors every single veteran in the history of our country. Perfect. All 24 million. And, uh, Get on the website. We ran out of time. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Moral. Thank you, Rob. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.